Okay guys, so I'm going to finish up this year's 2021 iCast coverage with a reel that deserves its own video, and that is the Okuma Hakai. Now I planned on doing a video covering the new offerings from Luz, Abu Garcia, 13 Fishing, Quantum, etc, etc. But to be honest, there was really nothing they released that was worth making a video on. But that's not the case for Okuma and their brand new Hakai baitcasters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking a look at the first promotional video for the Hakai. And I think it's officially called the Hakai DT because they collaborated with, I think, Dream Fishing or Dream Tackle or something like that. But anyway, let's take a look at this video. Now immediately you can see that the side plate is really sculpted. It's got a very interesting design. There's the first bit of uh, marketing terminology, light cast. Magnesium alloy frame. A look at the components which look good. So it's an overall good looking reel. Needs a little bit more color though. Now right here you can see that they do have an externally adjustable brake system and more on that later but you can see the adjustment dial is down at the bottom which they say is better because if your reel gets some water it will drain out of the bottom. double layer treatment for salt water corrosion resistance so I guess this is salt water friendly for being magnesium alright so they're making a big deal out of having a 42 millimeter oversized hardened brass main gear now this makes me wonder what size the competitors main gears are I do know that Shimano does have a pretty big main gear So it looks like you got uh, a multiple drag stack system, three gear ratios, 6.2, 7.3, and 8.1 to 1. And they are going the dial way by color coding the gear ratios. So the silver is going to be the 6.2, the gold 7.3, and the red is going to be 8.1 to 1. And the only color coordination is going to be the uh, nut retainer here. Alright, so right here they're focusing in on the spool. You can see it says flight spool. So this reel, everything is basically centered around the spool spool is definitely the big deal. You can see it says flight spool with the flight shaft. And there we go. Dream tackle design, super tuned spool, 33 millimeters, 0 0.4 millimeter uniform thickness. So Dream Tackle, I know a couple of years ago they came out with several aftermarket spools for some of the most popular uh, reels to turn them into bait finesse reels but um, I think they stopped I don't think they're selling them anymore so I'm not sure why that is but uh, apparently this spool is either designed by or made by Dream Tackle for Okuma and then you got your 0.4 millimeter uniform thickness meaning the entire spool is 0.4 millimeters thick everywhere so that's very similar to Shimano's S3D concept all right definitely gonna pause here as you can see it's using the long spool shaft and it says the spool assembly weighs only 9.5 grams with bearing so that is huge so if they're using a standard 5 by 11 by 4 spool bearing the actual rotational mass on this bearing is only going to be about 8 grams. So I think the only spool that compares to this that's not a bait finesse spool is going to be the spool on Daiwa's DCT. I think that's somewhere around 8 grams. 
but that spool is a tiny 30 millimeter so long casting for that reel uh, I don't think it's uh, known for its long casting capabilities now since this spool is closer to a standard size at 33 millimeters this thing should be able to bomb it says which can be used for ultra wide casting range now, the thing about the spool is the flight shaft and it says patented hollow stainless steel main shaft with precision stainless balls pressed on two ends providing the perfect balance point between strength and smoothness so let's go back there so with this spool shaft to reduce weight instead of going with you know weaker aluminum like a lot of companies will do these days they've hollowed out stainless steel and then they put these stainless steel balls at the ends of the spool shaft to reduce the friction now if you run a loose spool tension meaning you're just removing the side to side play maybe a hair looser then these balls are not going to matter but if you like to set your spool tension to where the lure barely falls at a slow rate and then when it hits the water there's maybe a couple of loops then this is definitely going to benefit you because not only will the startup inertia be less throughout the entire cast there should be less friction now I have seen this somewhere before I'm not sure if it was Quantum that did it or someone else but I do remember seeing this balls at the end of the spool shafts on a reel on AliExpress no less see so externally adjustable magnetic cast control system we'll go more into that later once again nice components it's got your line indicator right there and instead of on the spool tension they have it on the star drag now it doesn't have a huge bearing count but as long as the bearings are in the right place Alright, so they are making a big deal out of a carbonite star drag, as you can see here. Now, this is very similar to Shimano CI4 Plus and Daiwa Zion. Their marketing is C40X. And as you can see, they're using, I guess, the raw design or the raw material coated in, I guess, uh, shiny gloss, very much like Daiwa's Zion. Ninety millimeter aluminum handle with lightweight EVA knob. Now, obviously, you can see these are power style knobs, and I personally don't like them. I like flat knobs better, but we'll get more into these knobs here in a second. All right. So, with that being said, let's go over to Tackle Warehouse's website. So with that being said, I am over here on Tackle Warehouse's website, and as you can see by that promotional video, this is a very, very high spec reel. A lot of high specifications that would cost you an arm and a leg if you were getting it from a company like Shimano or Daiwa or even Abu Garcia. But yeah, right here you can see these Hakai reels start out at only $169.99, 170 bucks for a magnesium framed carbon side plated reel. So just to give you an idea, something similar from Shimano, the Shimano Aldebaran cost $420. You could literally buy almost three Hakai reels for the price of a Shimano Aldebaran. And another thing, as you can see right here, they're showing three Hakai reels. So you're gonna be getting the option of I guess the standard reels for general purpose bass fishing and then you 
can see here it says Okuma Hakai Finesse Casting Reels. And we're going to look into that. That says the perfect reel for bait finesse application. So apparently Okuma is dipping their toe in the bait finesse world. And let's take a look at this reel's uh, specifications. And actually I'm going to go to Okuma's own website for this because I think the specs are off from Tackle Warehouse. Now right here, one of these two is the uh, bait finesse specification. Actually, actually I think both of them are. But you can see 100 yards of 8 pound test, 90 yards of 10 pound test, and 75 yards of 12 pound test. So not a super duper shallow spool like today's uh, super modern BFS reels but it looks like it's going to be more of a competitor line capacity wise for the you know Shimano Aldebaran 50 MGL um, Shimano's Corrado 70 MGL the SLX 70 MGL and even Daiwa's Tatula SV but going back to Taco Warehouse you see that they also made a dedicated pitching model now these specs are pretty off from Okuma's website but the pitching model I'm not sure what that spool is going to be like whether it's going to be shallow or whether it's going to be deep that's probably going to be deep so you can use heavier line and I say that because the pitching model is going to have a much higher drag at 24 pounds versus the finesse model and the finesse model is only supposed to have 11 pounds of drag but unfortunately as you can see the power knobs are not very finesse I prefer something thinner and flatter for BFS fishing and maybe that's something Okuma will change before they uh, release this reel because they are not scheduled to be out until January the 4th so quite a long time from now now the BFS model or the finesse model and the pitching model do cost more at $184.99 or $185 but still a huge bargain for the amount of specifications that you get so now we're going to look at another video and I'm going to show you just how shallow that spool is and you can actually see the reel out in broad daylight alright so right here you can see the actual color of the reel it looks like it's a dark gray instead of just black but this reel up here looks to be the finesse model and I wish I could zoom in but I can't but you can see it is pretty shallow not quite as shallow as let's say you know the Aldebaran BFS or Abu Garcia's BFS reels but it is very very shallow now at the beginning of bait finesse you know 10 15 years ago that would have been considered a super shallow spool but by today's standards that's actually kind of deep for a BFS reel but keep in mind that spool is only supposed to weigh 8 grams now, I do know um, a couple of youtubers have this reel already and have been fishing it I saw a video where this guy was uh, skipping underneath docks and it looks like it skips pretty well all right some more of the flight spool technology and right here they actually give you a cutout of the hollowed out spool shaft right there so that's something that Shimano doesn't even do now Shimano of course is known for their long spool shafts and still using stainless steel but instead of using you know weaker aluminum Okuma chose to hollow out the spool shaft right there to reduce weight now I'm gonna back up here now this spool here looks to be shallower than the regular model but deeper than the I guess finesse model so this may be the pitching model see how deep that spool was 
So yeah, it is a good looking reel on both sides. There's not a bad angle for this reel. <laughs> right there, you can see that uh, there was some overrun at the beginning and middle of the cast, which is typical of reels using the static mag track style system. I'm going to replay that for you guys. And then it usually sorts itself out at the end. Now that Hakai could have been colored white to give it a little bit more color, but that's just nitpicking from me. That's a good looking thumb bar. Once again, looks like that was the finesse model. This looks like the pitching model. Let's fast forward a little bit. So apparently there are some YouTubers that already have this reel and are testing it. Not just the guys that I saw, but I, that girl I recognized from somewhere. I think she's a member of the Guggen squad. But there's a look at the line diameter thingy. Nice looking spool tension. There you can see the uh, raw, I guess, C40 carbon. Dragstar looks very similar to Die with Zion. And yeah, Okuma Hakai. Now I've never featured an Okuma reel on my channel before, but I do have a I guess sentimental soft spot for him. I might explain that to you guys once I get my Hakai. But since they are coming out with with what I guess uh, a whole lineup of Hakai reels. You got your regular, your finesse, and then your pitching and flipping. This may be a legacy reel for Okuma, kind of like the Karato is for Shimano and the Tatula is for Daiwa. And as you can see, we have several different models of Karato and Tatula for all sorts of applications. So it's good to see that Okuma is coming out with a line like this. And it is very, very cutting edge, very, very high spec but very very low price for what you get and I do believe it comes with a three-year warranty and I don't know any other reel that uh, has a warranty that long I think the usual is like one year but yeah I am definitely excited and I am definitely going to be getting me at least two I'm gonna get a regular model and then of course I'm gonna get the finesse model and we're going to give them a whirl now I did email Okuma USA directly about sending me a couple of these reels to test and do videos on. I haven't heard anything back, so I'm gonna try to contact them on Instagram to see if they are ballsy enough to send one of these reels for me to try out and do videos on. So if you guys wanna see that, hit them up on Instagram and tell them you wanna see me test these reels out, not just their promotional staff. All right, guys, once again, this is going to end the 2021 iCast interesting releases videos. Once again, unfortunately, there was really nothing else interesting released from the other companies that's worthy of making a separate video on. But the Hakai definitely is. So leave in the comment section and let me know what you think of this Hakai reel and if you are planning on getting one because, once again, the very high specs for the very low price is definitely worth looking into. Alright guys, thanks a lot.